The Diansis Ansiscope Monitor with Ansistem provides objective scientific monitoring to improve P-STEM therapy and enhance the opportunity for cure. Chronic pain affects 116 million Americans. That's one out of three people. More than the total affected by heart disease, cancer, and diabetes combined. This pain costs the United States $635 billion each year in medical treatment and lost productivity. Acute pain is a warning signal that something is harming the body. In chronic pain, that signal keeps transmitting long after the attack has stopped. This is typically a malfunction that skews the autonomic nervous system toward the sympathetic and creates overstimulation of nerves as though the body is still under attack. Ansiscope from Diansis can read this sympathetic information as shown in the display. This information is critical to effective therapy, especially while using P-STEM. The human oracle is a pressure point map of the human body. With the help of reflex points on the ear, it is possible to exert a selective effect on organs or regions of pain. The P-STEM, or point stimulation therapy, provides electrical stimulation to these auricular reflex points. The electrical pulses are transmitted through the dermis, along the nerve tracks and into the central lobe of the brain, where endorphins, the body's own opiates, are released. These endorphins are carried by blood throughout the body and inhibit pain. The reduction in pain increases circulation and muscle relaxation. After multiple treatments with Ansystem, the patient's autonomic nervous system response will move towards the parasympathetic, which promotes body relaxation and pain reduction. Accurate measurement by Ansiscope improves P-STEM therapy. Systemic problems with the nervous system can now be effectively treated and measured. In most cases, prescription drugs, which only mask the pain, can be greatly reduced or eliminated. Administering P-STEM therapy takes approximately 10 minutes using the efficient and accurate measurement of the Ansiscope monitor. First, connect the Ansiscope to the patient using electrodes applied to the patient's inner wrists and ankles. Next, carefully clean and disinfect the skin in and around the ear in preparation for applying the electrodes and mounting the Ansystem control module. Use the multipoint stylus to locate appropriate reflex points. Reflex points are locations that have the least amount of resistance to stimulation of free nerve ends. A low pitch sound indicates high resistance. This is not conducive to Ansystem needle placement. A high pitch sound indicates low skin resistance. This is ideal for needle placement. Attach the Ansystem control module with adhesive behind the patient's ear. Use the ANS monitoring function on the Ansiscope to monitor the patient's autonomic response to needle placement. The sympathetic response should rise after needle insertion, but drop close to the original value after several seconds. If the sympathetic response does not return, the needle location is not optimum and should be removed and reinserted into a new location. Repeat this procedure for each needle. This patient has one needle for chronic back pain and two needles for general pain. The Ansystem generates electrical pulses over four days, alternating between three hours of stimulation and three hours of rest. A new Ansystem is applied every week. The average patient usually requires 10 to 12 weeks of treatment. However, treatment can take as few as four weeks and as many as 20. P-STEM therapy is effective for all cases of pain where vagal stimulation is recommended. Weighing just 7 grams, the appliance is very comfortable and allows free mobility, including sports. P-STEM therapy reduces pain without side effects and has a far greater impact than standard acupuncture or permanent needles and is reimbursable by most major health suppliers. Highly effective non-narcotic pain relief is now available through the combination of the Diansis Ansiscope HRV monitor with Ansystem, Pulse Stimulation Therapy, P-STEM.